All right, we're here, the ladies of Re Watching Wine, and I'm Rhea, Treva, and Lynn. And we are here today to bring to you the book to movie adaptation of Devotion. Devotion. Treva says this isn't her pick, but I remember it being her pick. No, it was not. Oh, it was I think it was. <laughs> <laughs> because I remember seeing the movie. Like the um, advertisements for the movie coming out. I think, well, I think I guess it might in our group chat, yeah. it was just, I mean, y'all sound like anyway, so. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't <laughs> pick this. But I did see the movie and I liked the movie, but I did not pick this. This was not my pick. So before we get into the book, oh, sorry, I'm already drinking. We are drinking, well, already drinking. Cooper Sock, of course, you guys already know, Cooper Sock is one of our favorite brands. This one happens to be a Malbec. And I normally don't like Malbecs, it's too bold and like I feel like my mouth is just like coated but after you finish half a bottle it's great. <laughs> <laughs> you just do this a couple of times exactly so drink up <laughs> anyway so and it's good that we're drinking the red wine because today is national red wine day oh okay all yeah. right all right all right all right go fuck right. you don't ask me why i know that information <laughs> okay so let's get into this book Devotion. Yeah. <laughs> there was so much history in this book that I was like, okay, great. But it was a lot. It was a lot. So I listened to it on Audible, and I don't know if that was wise because <laughs> when it comes to historical book, I lose all concentration. It just becomes fact after fact after you don't really get the chance to get placed in that time for me. So it was like being talked at. So I try to listen to it. I try to retain as much as I could, but I was bored out of my mind. <laughs> and it's not because of the history. It's just because I'm not really into history books. Right. So it took me a long time to get through this novel. It was a lot of like military terminology and Air Force terminology that I was just like, what? I don't know anything about the ship. I don't know about what you're talking about. So, I mean, I guess I learned a lot from it. You did? Because I don't know what. I mean, think. honestly, so to be honest, <laughs> don't learn anything. <laughs> it, embarrassing because, you know, my husband is a um, Marine, but I really never got like how all of them work together. And I think I got that from the book. That's a good point. That's something I really didn't catch. Like how who all worked together? Yeah. All, the, all the different branches of the military work together. Yeah, yeah same. And, I thought that like everybody just kind of like separated and did their thing. But yeah, I didn't know how the crossover happens with the different branches. I mean, you know, like, you know, waters, well, uh, Navy or whatever for the, us non-military people. Mil- uh, Army is like, you know, land and then you have Air Force in the air and like the Marines. Like, how does that kind of fall into play? So this was so informative in that fact. So yeah. I fully agree with you on that. Yeah. I didn't get it. I so, mean, I, now I get it. You know, that makes sense. We, the Marines go in <laughs> and they, like, the Marines go in first. So they are the ones that are expendable. I didn't know that. I didn't know that the Marines and the Air Force goes in and tries to bomb off everything that they can do before those Marines get in there. And then the Army's not too far behind. And in the Navy, if you need the Navy. But I just, I didn't really, I didn't, I never got that until this book. So I can say that's what I learned. Well, I'm so glad because I was not able to extrapolate that from the book. <laughs> I have no idea the crossover that you guys are talking about. So I touched upon it in the book. Once we get to the adaptation, we'll talk about that. But it honed in when I saw how they were kind of like not getting along on the same ship. And then once they got, well, not just because of them being black, but when they went to France and they were in Mm, like the cafe area and it was like oh here are the marines or oh, here are the air force and i was just like wait what are you little branches so then it all clicked to me but it touched upon it in the book but then i seeing it really honed and so i definitely learned it from the book but it didn't make sense at first okay. yeah only thing so, i knew about the branches was the you. the only thing i knew about the branches <laughs> was like living it quarters and that's only because that's something we talked about all the time like they're kind of the grunts and they get the grunts but you know, you would like the know. bottom, of like the barracks, like if they were staying somewhere, like the Navy and the Air Force are supposed to be like the elite crew. And so, and you think like they have all the white, mm-hmm. and, and, and it, where they okay. sleep is very nice, and, and they can have co ed as we earn a little bit. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> but the, uh, but it, the Marines and the, and the armies is, is very different. So that's the only kind of part I knew. That part I thought was interesting. It was interesting also. 
for me. I'm going to sleep now. I also thought it was interesting when you think about his struggle to get where he was. Oh, I'm like, okay, sometimes we that hasn't gone away. Yeah. And I think it was very well explained in the book from what I can remember. <laughs> that yeah. when he was um, explaining to his other mate, saying that, like, yes, thank you for writing your letter and having my back. But, like, you don't understand. Once this piece of paper is not a step. For me, it's a mile type thing. And, yeah. like, that's what I need the help with. It's yeah. not like, you know, let me just pass a piece of paper on. I need the assistance. And I think that it was very, I don't remember exactly the word, Rich, but it was worded really well in the book that I was looking forward to that scene, that conversation, that inspiration in the adaptation. So I do remember that in the book. Yeah, yeah. I do remember that. So I, I'm just going to say that I agree with you with that. There was just so much information in this book that I just couldn't follow. I actually love reading history books. That's why I thought you I can't it. read the books that had so so many different components and characters where I can't even tie them all together to make them mesh. And it's reminded me of that book we read a long time ago where the movie was so good, Hidden Figures. Oh, and Hidden yeah. Hidden Figures, there were so many different little stories that I couldn't tie them all together. And it just wasn't a complete story for me. That's the way I felt reading this. It was just too many different little components. And so if it's a history book and it's like focused on one time in history and it kind of takes me through that whole situation, then I love it. And I live for those books. So I do understand why you thought I picked this book. <laughs> and I did not. But like, but it was just too much. Devil's Advocate, I agree. Mm-hmm. But to play Devil's Advocate, like if they did not talk about how completely dense it is of like all the different Marines, all the different Air Force men, all the different people that are affected him, even just like the camera crew that was there mm-hmm. and, you know, trying to antagonize him to say what they wanted him to say. But like if they didn't really go through all of these characters and all these people, I don't think it would have felt as tangible. Yeah. Just because like it wasn't just linear that he was getting this influx of not just like the difference of race, but the difference of class, the difference of like status. Just like seeing his wife be a part of things. Yeah. People were like, oh, he's here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, their, their relationship was awesome. Oh. I love how they portrayed them. Oh, yeah. I mean, not portrayed them because that's how they were. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so just, I, we'll get back to that, but I, I appreciated that in the movie because the movie was so focused on him, but the book was not just focused on him. I mean, it was really focused a lot on the Tom character also. And so that's when I was losing it because yeah. I just felt like it was just too many people we were hearing about. But I mean, I guess, you know, we could talk about the movie, but in the movie, it was so, fo- it was like they took out the pieces of the book that was strictly focused on Jesse. And they brought it in together. And I thought it was very important to have all of that dynamic in the movie. I'm kind of glad they took out, like, a lot of this stuff. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so, be honest, so they, also oh. kind of, they, had a, they could actually have done a whole other book on a different character. I don't know if it would have been as, as it wouldn't have as much substance because, of course, the other people didn't have to. They were a little bit more privileged. Mm-hmm. So it was not like it was, you know, it was expected for them to do what they did. Everything was kind of handed to or yeah. even just do a two part series to so the yeah. first book up until like, you know, his, uh, I guess, the uh, um, metal award. Yeah. And then do the post. Cause yeah. like, the scenes, the end of the I guess, but now we're at a Yeah, we're now at a But <laughs> the scenes after that, I wanted to know more. Like yeah. how they still haven't been able to go and like resume his body, mm-hmm. how the families are still close to this day. I want to know more about that. And I feel yeah. like if they even just wrote like a short story as mm-hmm. like the, addition like that was really really intriguing to me yeah they showed you like the pictures of them but that was it like the pictures of them. yeah i think um his ted his wife granddaughter yeah. and then tom's son Fine. you yeah. know what it was how they were like you know standing together yeah. talking and like that was like so it's inspirational but i'm just like i want to know more about that where is part two coming out yeah. right all right there's no way i'm gonna read a part two of that book. Oh, oh no you <laughs> <it's a story. laughs> but you have it <laughs> We had we already had it in part in the book. Yeah, that's all they would be doing was building off of what was already there. Yeah, yeah. adding to a lot of it left in the book. Yeah. All right. So, I mean, what did y'all think of the adaptation? I mean, I like the adaptation because it was shorter. I there were there were a few scenes I was kind of mad that they kind of that they left out because I felt like although I know how him and his wife were, I don't think they showed enough about it in the movie. I missed out. They didn't capture that love, like yeah. that deep. When the scene, I'm sorry, I cut you off, but the scene where they, um, where he said, like, you know, just go to the edge of the water and look out for me. I will looking at at you at the same like time. They in the book, 
I can't remember exactly when it was, but it was like one of the times where they had just gotten to land. I think he was in France and he like, you know, turned around to describe him like trying to face West and was like looking out over the water. And the book was like, I don't think they said it was simultaneously, but it made it seem like that, that they were simultaneously looking like East and West towards each other. And at the end of the book or show movie, they did something like that, but it wasn't simultaneously. It was like she was just looking in the sky for him versus like them literally having this like visceral connection yeah. in continents away and looking at for each other at the same time. Yeah. And that was in the book. And yeah. I was just like, you're missing this deep rooted connection that they have. I mean, just even like walking in the house in the show or the book, he's in show in the movie. Like you're seeing them on the dynamic and she's painting and he's like up like kind of a daughter, like. They did touch on it, but like the book was so much more in depth. Yeah. And I think they really, they did a decent job, but that scene in the book, when they were both looking across the Atlantic at each other at the same time was just like, it gave me chills. Like you imagine that and you just needed to see that on film. They did have, they just missed the opportunity to show some really deep black love. I think it was really cool too how like his wife and his daughter came out, like they actually, did when they were coming, you know, when they were doing their practice mm-hmm. flight, and he's like, Wait, I gotta make a detour. Oh, that's daddy up there. Like, I thought that was the coolest thing. And even seeing um, how Tom supported it, I was like, Oh, yep, I'm not messing around. Yeah, we're we going, we always do mm-hmm. a mm-hmm. detour so they could see. I thought that was so cool. Yeah, that was really good. I, I mean, I liked the movie, but from an adaptation perspective, the movie was so narrowly focused just on Jesse, which I appreciate it and I love, but. It didn't make for a good adaptation of the book because right. there was so much other stuff going on in the book. First of all, it would have been a six, seven hour movie <laughs> oh, if, they, if they tried to capture it all. So I would say that I don't know I that get why I get it, but it didn't make for a great adaptation of the yeah. book. Yeah, yeah. And I I wish they like Lenny said, I wish they would have showed more about the after after mm-hmm. he passed and everything the wife kind of went through. That and then also and then the thing how Tom dad. Yeah. Oh my God. That part, I forgot about it all of a sudden. But yeah. I remember that whole scene of him like finding out, oh, that's, I'm sorry, that's the best part of the whole book. <laughs> I mean, like I was actually driving yeah. and I missed the exit. Mind you, the whole time in the book, it was kind of like Charlie Brown, what I'm up to me because it was his three mm-hmm. and But that scene or that part of the book when I'm driving, I'm listening to it. I completely missed my exit for BWY, completely passed it, had to turn around. And I was just like, his dad fighting out. It was so dad, good. his mom, his what was his cousin or his best friend, you know, having to help the wife out all the time, help the wife, you know. It showed like, that struggle. Yeah. yeah. And then, but then also, I think they should have touched more on, I think they did in the book, but not in the adaptation, was um, Tom's struggle with it. Mm-hmm. Like, wanting to do more and wanting to really show how the connection they had. And he's just like, you know, being brushed by because it was like, oh. It's back, black pilot. Like, you know, we'll get to it eventually. Yeah, but yeah. you can tell, especially when he got back to the uh, the ship and like having conversations, he was just so distraught in the book. Yeah. And in the movie, it was like they were talking to, I guess, one of the senior officers and he was like, sorry, man, we can't help you out. Yeah. But in the book, it was like, no, this is wrong. Like, we need to make sure we honor our brother. Yeah. yeah. So that part I was really bothered by an adaptation. But I kind of figured that they would brush on that anyway. I think it's kind of cool. They, but they like took care of college. They did. They uh, put together a trust fund from the daughter and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So she would, you know, his wife would always have help. Uh, he you definitely know, we, took. We care don't of do the family. best job about taking care of our military. So the fact that the military, his colleagues, put together to make sure that funds were there to take care of him, I thought that was really good. Completely side note that nothing to do with taking care of the military, but I loved how they showed how distinctly like intentional he is. As a person, especially like for her birthday when he already had the present hid in the closet. Um, and it was like a combination for her to spend time to do something for daddy, with daddy to, while he was away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I I don't cry or anything. But I'm sitting there like, keep us up together. You I don't move that was getting old. Very, very touching. Emotional. Right. 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 But that part was, it was so intentional. Yeah. And it just really showed how much like he thought out every detail about his family. Yeah. It wasn't just like yeah. a, a oh, and yeah. just everything. You're right. And he so said, intentional. like, I write her every week, like, get out of my way, hand the letter over. And some guys being a complete a-hole, racist a-hole. 
Like he was like, I don't care what you're doing right now, but I'm giving the letter to my wife. And you could tell how intensely important his family was to him. Yeah. And I love that. The how, most important. How about the scene in the on the book? It was in the book. I don't think it was I don't remember seeing it in the movie. Or oh, maybe it was when they all had to throw out all their like Playboy magazines and everything that they had in their backpacks. And they were like, I don't know what the bags were called, but whatever was in their bags, their personal items. And they said, you know, we might not make it back. So whatever you don't want your wife or your mama to see that you had in this bag, you might as well start tossing them. And he was talking about how they, the, um, he looked over the, over the ship and it was like nothing but uh, papers all in the shop, uh, paper things and stuff like that thrown overboard. Cause they were like, yeah, we can't have those people finding that. I thought that was kind of funny. Y'all remember. I do. I know. No then I was thinking, no memory of that. Well, I remember this, like, you know, in the book, they're talking about how, like, all the guys were like, oh, man, what are we going to do without this picture or this book and whatnot? And he was like, if I'm with you, my wife and my kid. <laughs> and everybody else has, like, stacks of magazines. That's what they portrayed in the book. Yeah, so yeah. remember that. Because like, everybody was, like, you know, pitching all of their stuff. And he was like, I'm good. Yeah. But yeah. I do remember that scene. Yeah. I, I don't have a lot of memory of that. But um, <laughs> the I did things. appreciate I the um, I appreciated the um, the Elizabeth Taylor scene. I thought that was pretty interesting. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that was really that good. was pretty cool. Was oh, awesome. when he broke out in the French and just like completely shocked those uh-huh. people that were at the door trying to block him. Everybody behind him with this like jaw drop. It was not like a, a distinct jaw drop, but you can all tell like. Oh, pick up your face. <laughs> he did with such class. Yeah, too, yeah. And I love it. And everything he did, he did with oh, such well, class. Although there was this thing in the movie where he just kind of kept his hand under his, his chest. And it was like the whole time he was like, I pocket just like, what is it going to bend and snap? Like, what is he doing? That was driving me crazy. Like, put your hand down. And then the last thing that I really loved in the book was when they were younger. And he was with his brother and sister. And the people, those kids on the bus kept messing with them. And he took a chance and, and uh, they threw something back at the bus and the bus driver got off. And you just, I just knew I was going to read the bus driver doing something to them, but he didn't. He went back on the bus and scolded the kids. Yeah. And that was just such a relief. So I love that story. That was kind of like once in a while you can get a good one. Yeah, exactly. So I, I don't know how I feel about Mr. Majors. I knew that <laughs> what you were going to say. Because you've said that for a while. Like, you're just not sure how to feel because... With everything that's going on with him. Well, not just that. It's just that, I don't know. He's a strange actor. Like, it's a, you know, I don't know a lot about, like, the different ways people get trained to act. But he's sort of this actor that has no emotion on his face. But yet his points come across in his dialogue. When I think about him in Lovecraft Country. Lovecraft. And then also the boxing one that just came out. I think that's why he's picked for that. Like, he's just like this blank face guy, but yet you feel so Every much emotion, emotion mm-hmm. in him. And it's just so weird for me. Like, I'm not picking up on expressions or anything for whatever reason. You can feel exactly what he's trying and to do. jaw. He got that jaw that like bubbles, like you can see that nerve or whatever. It's like, I don't know what it is, but I mean, Absolutely. he was a great fit for this movie. I think he did a great job in this movie. Um, sorry. So I really don't have anything negative to say about that selection. What about his wife? I thought she was great. Oh, oh she, yeah. yeah. I loved her. I loved the daughter. I love that the daughter looked like she could have been their child. <laughs> <laughs> You'd think it would be so simple. Right. So Somebody did something right in casting. Yeah. I don't have any, I guess, any like adverse reaction to any of the actors, actresses. And I really liked how they distinctly made sure that Elizabeth Taylor looked like Elizabeth Taylor. Yeah. And I mean, not just in the face. Mm-hmm. Because at that time, they were, you know, a size 8, a size 10 was seen to be beauty mm-hmm. and beautiful. So she was like a little bit more voluptuous than what everybody wants to be now, the size 4, the size 6, and then stuff. Well, okay. So they would still had her as the representation of that time, which was mm-hmm. a size 8 or a size 10. Mm-hmm. Small detail, but like just knowing how fashion is, like I was like, thank you for not getting a twig to play someone that's not a twig. Like the whole thing with Mira when you wrote too, but I'm not gonna go there. Yeah, yeah, right. One more scene before we go to rating. I like started crying and got goosebumps when all of the black people came up to the top of the ship to tr- watch him land. Mm-hmm. I like gave him the, that watch to cry, and they came up to him. He's like, what? What? And they gave him like, we support you, brother. Like, that was just 
Mm-hmm. And he didn't even like literally said, I'm sorry, what's your name? I didn't even know him. But because of that unit, it was yep. tangible on that scene. Yep. I yeah. know. Remind you a little bit of that Alabama chair incident. Are we all just, I'm sorry. I had to go there. <laughs> but no, I love that you. It was very emotional. Because you know, first of all, they're making the lowest pay on the boat. Yeah. But they chipped in their money and got him the fancy watch. And yep. that that just, that means so much. Yeah. A Rolex at that. Oh, yeah. Cool. Mm-hmm. Right. But, um, yeah. All right. Well, y'all ready to read? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm going to give it a long day. Cause I, I mean, it really, the app, I'm, I, Okay, so let's let me think about this because <laughs> the adaptation was good for the part that it That's captured right. from the book. That's why I'm so lost. I mean, so torn. Right. Because I, for what they captured off the book, it was I thought it was great, but there was a lot missing, and I kind of right. had to do that, book. which you could not put yeah. in that movie. But I agree with you. I mean, I guess just from an adaptation standpoint, like I'm giving it a half glass. I love the movie, and I didn't care for the book so much because it was just hard for me to follow. <laughs> But they, they just didn't capture everything in the book. And honestly, there's no way that they could have. <laughs> and I was right there, like, with you with, with that, where it was, uh, well, for me, it's a half glass also. It's because the adaptation wasn't an adaptation of the book. It was a part, portion of it. But at the same time, the portion that they did do Great. was good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm going to go to half glass. All right. Well, there you have it. It doesn't quite get a full bottle, although we're not really getting a full bottle with the three of us anymore. We, we, I don't know. We, we won't get a bottle. We might get a bottle. <laughs> we we get a bottle but the rating ain't there yet. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, so check it out because I would really love to know everybody's opinion on it and you know, see if you can get through the book. For anybody out there that's in the story, you're going to love, 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 love. love, love military folks, they love Right. <laughs> but for the rest of you, maybe try Audible and that way you can zone in and out and check out the movie and let us know what you think. Yeah. It was good. In the meantime, follow us, like us, Love it, subscribe, all the above, the rewatch line. We love you guys. Thank you. Bye.